welcome to strength of material lectures by civil thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on compressive stress now before i move on i request you to please watch the video lectures in sequence as in the playlist so that you can understand better the playlist link is in the description or also you can click here now let's move on to the problem a copper column of annular cross section has an outer diameter of 15 feet and is subjected to a force of 45 kips. The allowable compressive stress is 300 IB per feet square. What is the inner diameter of column? Okay, now as you can see here, we have to find the inner diameter of the column in this. This is a column. This is the outer diameter is 15 feet okay it is basically a hollow column right it is a hollow column it is only like this okay this is the hollow column and this is the hollow diameter right this is this much is let it be di diameter inside okay now all of this is a hollow column, right? Now we have to find this inside diameter, okay? Now let this outside diameter be denoted with D O, okay? D O. Now how how we are going to find the inside diameter? Now we know let the compressive stress be sigma. Now, then we know stress is load. Let the load be P divided by cross-sectional area okay on which the load is acting a right this is the compressive stress formula if you don't know about this please watch my previous lecture on compressive stress okay you will understand that the compressive stress is load now the compressive stress on this column is load acting on it and load is acting normally on this cross-sectional area so load Per unit cross-sectional area per unit area normal to the load okay this area is normal to this load so load divided by this normal area is the compressive stress now the allowable compressive stress is 300 IB per feet square okay so it is 300 okay let it uh, I will ignore the units because I know the units anyways we have to find the inside diameter right di is inside diameter now from here we are going to find a okay now from here what is going to be a a is going to be p divided by sigma right now p is how much p is 45 kips okay now if i convert it into pound it is going to be 45 and three zeros okay zero 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 okay lips now it is p is 45000 0, 0, 0, and the compressive stress the allowable compressive stress is 300 right it is 300 okay now it is lips per feet square and this is lips right now this and this will cancel out we are left with feet square okay so four five zero 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 divided by 300 when i use the calculator i get 150 okay now it is feet square right so the area is 150 square feet okay what does that mean it means the cross-sectional area this of this hollow column is this much 150 okay now we know how to find the cross-sectional area uh, let this be the cross-section okay it is hollow now this is let this be inner diameter di and let this be outer diameter all of this okay let this be outer diameter do okay and this much is inner diameter right from here to here is d i then we know what is the cross-section area it is pi divided by 4 
d outer square minus d inner square okay now here it is area is 150 it is pi divided by 4 d outer square minus d inner square right now the outer diameter is provided in the problem it is 15 feet right so i will erase here and i will write 15 square okay now from here i will get 150 multiplied by 4 divided by pi right when i rearrange this it is going to be 15 square minus di square right now from here i will get inside diameter square how much will be di square d inside square it is going to be 15 square minus 150 multiplied by 4 divided by pi right now this all of this is di square now when i find the di I have to apply the square root from both sides which will cancel out square here right so it is going to be whole square root of all of this it is going to be the diameter right now when I solve this using calculator let me use a calculator I get 5.832 of course it is feet right so approximately when we look at the options it is approximately 5.83 feet okay so here we find the inside diameter of this cylinder which was subjected to a compressor load okay now 5.83 feet therefore option b is the correct option okay in this way we solve the compressor stress problems or body subjected to the compressor load problems now that's it if you have any problem please comment and also if you want to download the PDF of this problem, PDF solution, the link to download the PDF is in the description. You can find it there and see you in the next class. Thank you.